Defining equations of the lines. When the slope of a line and a point on the line are known, the equation of the line can be found. And using the slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b, we need the slope and the y intercept in the form of 0b. For example, find the equation of the line given uh, the slope at 1 half and a point. Um, 0, 3. In this case, um, the point is in that form, 0, B, so we have a y-intercept. So we can simply plug it in. M is equal to 1 half, and our B is 3, and we plug in. And this gives us an equation for the line. It won't always be this way. Sometimes you have to do a little manipulation to solve for B and then plug in for your M. If the slope and any point are provided, so not necessarily y intercept, we can find an equation of the line. If the slope and the y intercept first and then plugging it in. So, for example, here what I'm saying is we're given, we're asked to find an equation when the slope is 2 and we're given any point. So the first thing we do is we plug in and solve for b and that gives us the y-intercept. So we already know what our slope is, m, and we know what our b is. So now we can plug into our equation here, y equal to mx plus b, and now we have an equation for the line. In this case here, we're given a slope and we're given a point. So we can solve for B first and find the y-intercept. We plug in for our slope and our y-intercept and we solve for B. And that gives me my y-intercept. So now I know what my y-intercept is and I know what my slope is. I can plug in and get an equation for the line. In this next one here, when I'm given a slope, I'm given a point, and ask for an equation of the line. I go through the same thing again. I plug in and I, my, my slope and one point and my point, and I solve for the y-intercept. It gives me my y-intercept, and I already know what the slope is. Now I have an equation for the line. Next one here. They ask us to find an equation of the line given two, two points, and I don't have a slope. So I have to create the slope first, and then find the y-intercept, and then I can get an equation for the line. So I plug in my two points, and I find my slope. So I know what my slope is, and then I find my y-intercept. Now I find my y-intercept. So now I can plug in for my slope and my y-intercept, but there's my equation for the line. This one here, you're given two points, and they want an equation for the line. So you use your slope formula here, and you find your slope. So now you know your slope. You can take one of the points, and then find uh, the y-intercept, b. Now my slope is known and my y-intercept is known. There's my equation for the line. This one here, find the equation of the line given two points. So we can find our slope first. Then we can plug in here using a, point, a slope and a one of the points. Okay, and this gives me my, my y-intercept. So now my slope is known and my y-intercept is unknown. And there's my equation for the line. I'm giving you different looks. So now we have negatives here. They want an equation of the line, so the first thing I do is find my slope. Then I go ahead and plug in, and I plug in my slope and one of the points, 
and I find my y-intercept. Now that my y-intercept is known and my slope is known, I can get an equation for the line. Okay, find an equation for the line here. So the first thing I do is I find the slope. When I plug in for my slope, I get an undefined slope. Since the slope is undefined, the equation of the line is going to be x equal to 3. And this one here, they want us to find the equation of the line given negative 3, 3 and negative 2, 3. Notice the y coordinates are the same. So I find my slope first. I find my slope first. In this case, I have 3 minus 3, which is 0. The slope ends up being 0. So I find my y-intercept. Plug in 0 for my slope and use up one of the points for x and y. In this case here, b is equal to 3. So my slope is known and my y-intercept is known. So I can plug in and get an equation for the line, y is equal to 3. However, if had you recognized this, that the two y coordinates are the same, then you would have known that the equation is going to be, it's going to be a horizontal line and that equation is going to be y equal to 3.